I'm a vent for two seconds about just one of many double standards between men and women. Why is it considered something negative when a woman goes gray? But when a man starts to go gray, he's considered accomplished, mature, and wise. This double standard annoys me because it stops so many beautiful women from exploring and fully enjoying this new stage in life. We unnecessarily use harsh, potentially dangerous chemicals to cover up something that's really beautiful. To me, the best way to overcome anything is to understand it. So in this video, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna talk about what's going on inside your body when your hair strand starts to go gray. This is your hair follicle. Your hair gets its color from a pigment called melanin. Side note, melanin is some powerful stuff. It goes way beyond pigment. I'm still researching a lot about it, but I'll upload a separate video that's dedicated to melanin in the future. For now, just know that melanin is very powerful. Dark brown pigments are called eumelanin, and reddish yellow pigments are called pheomelanin. These pigments of melanin can combine to create a broad variety of unique skin and hair colors. Melanin is made by a type of cell called a melanocyte. They can be found in the epidermis layer of your skin, along your dermal papilla in your hair follicles, as dormant stem cells in a reservoir called a hair bulge and in various areas of your body. Cells called keratinocytes produce the keratin your hair is made of. Keratin is colorless or gray without melanin. As a hair grows out, the melanin cells inject their melanin into the keratin cells giving your hair the color and protection it needs. Many factors like genetics, stress, poor health, pollution, and aging can cause cells in your body to act out of whack or stop functioning altogether. Science is yet to understand exactly why hair turns gray, but there's some great research theories out there. One theory suggests that each individual hair follicle has what science refers to as a melanogenic clock. As you age and based on genetics, after a certain amount of growth cycles, a hair follicle's melanogenic clock starts to slow down and eventually new stem cells stop replenishing, causing your hair strand to grow out colorless. Another interesting theory and the most recent is by a scientist named J.M. Woods. He explains how each hair follicle produces a small amount of hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, that same stuff used to bleach your hair. We don't notice this because an enzyme called catalase breaks up hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. But according to his theory, as you age, the catalase enzyme weakens so hydrogen peroxide levels build up and gradually bleaches your hair. You can find a link to his and other interesting research papers in the description section. Research update! There's been a recent breakthrough in the science community. Published on March 1, 2016, scientists in the Department of Genetics and Developmental Biology at the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil identified that the gene IRF4 is linked to gray hair. This is a big deal because these findings bring us closer to one day being able to provide people with a choice on whether they want to go gray or not. You can also find a link to the study in the description section. You ever wondered what the difference is between having gray roots versus having individual gray hair strands or streaks? Then stay tuned to next week's video where we'll talk about the science of why some people get gray roots while others get gray streaks. We'll also talk about real options on how to prevent and reverse gray hair. Hope to see you next week. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.